After a two-year investigation, a suspect has been charged with uh, leaking tax returns of wealthy taxpayers. Robert Frank joins us now uh, with more. Is this like an activist or these people are too rich or something? Yeah. We don't know much about this guy, but the leak itself in the articles got a lot of attention. You remember all those yeah. articles in ProPublica. Federal prosecutors now charging that IRS contractor with leaking tax returns of thousands of wealthy taxpayers. Charles Littlejohn of Washington, D.C. faces up to five years in prison after being charged with unauthorized disclosure of tax information. Court records say he stole the returns between 2018 and 2020 while he was working on that IRS contract. The returns were leaked to two news organizations. They were not named in this legal filing. Sources say they are ProPublica, which published a series on billionaire taxes and how little they pay, and the New York Times, which published information on President Trump's tax returns back in 2020. Ken Griffin, the CEO of Citadel, sued the IRS after his taxes and income appeared in one of those articles. That suit is still active. Griffin saying in a statement that, quote, he continues to be frustrated by the IRS's failure to protect personal data. The IRS saying in a statement late Friday that any disclosure of taxpayer information is unacceptable and that it's improving its technology and data protections with this new money they're getting from does, Congress. Does this change that suit? Meaning, does it make it stronger for Ken Griffin? Does I don't think it, it changes. It cha what Ken said is that the IRS had been named for years as having inadequate protections again for right. their tax here data. And that, that fact stands. Well, by um, default, so. his, his information was disclosed, but as were all of the others. So the other question is, do the other, do the other people bring cases as well? That's the lead case. Um, you know, it, 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 the question now is, what does the IRS do with this $80 billion or $60 billion that they're getting from Congress to better protect the technology? I mean, there's, this is an agency that still uses microfilm. And so their ability, and they've got tens, over 10,000 contractors. This guy worked for an independent contractor, not an employee of the IRS. So with over 10,000 contractors and really not a lot of good data protection, how are they going to use this money to improve Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty leaky cauldron. Yeah.